Yeah, this is Peter Lorre speaking. Good evening. This, my friend, is an occasion. Let's have some dignity. What's the matter with his face? Now, never mind my face! I remember when I saw you the first time on the stage. He's tall and dark and quite attractive, I suppose. You were beautiful. Very beautiful. Put on something else? I don't like that. You really ought to keep yourself cleaner. If this were the first time, but uh, of course it isn't. You seem so nervous. You ought to do something about your nervous condition, Mr. Brand. Nervous men sometimes talk too much and they make mistakes. You don't have to worry about that. I had a very annoying afternoon. But darling, don't you know that a man's wife can never testify against him? A man's wife must always be in his home and waiting for him, isn't that right? You mustn't walk away when I'm talking to you. I couldn't let you do that. It has nothing to do with you, it's me. My face is so beautiful. Me, my face. But the face behind the mask. It's mutilated, hideous, a horrible nightmare, out of which I can never awake. Yes, it is perfect. Isn't that right? I told you I don't want a monkey in the house, didn't I? You're a stupid... Keep that monkey away from me! You imbecile! You bloated idiot! You are the quintessence of stupidity. I know that. Stupid fat you! Excuse me, please. I must have expressed myself badly. Noiseous drum has nothing in it but air. What have you to say for yourself? Cabbages and kings and various things. Tonight I'll be selling those for more money than even I have ever dreamed of, and then... I'm not so sure you won't talk. I hope you're more impressed with me. Oh, naturally. I knew it. Silly law-abiding jerk. You despise me, don't you? Thank you. I knew I could trust you. My, my, my. <laughs> oh. You see... Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. So... And, uh... No? Oh, uh, by the way, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 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 huh. yes, I know, I know that. I don't like you when you talk like that. Please, you may proceed. Oh, I understand you very well, except... Hmm, won't you agree with me? What do you take me for, a sucker? You know what I mean. Sorry you said that. Simple, isn't it? Could mean a lot of things. What right do I have to think? Mm, don't be afraid of that. No questions will be asked. Listen, Mr. Jeff, aren't you a little hasty? See, we don't need you, you need us. I'll cut you in starting with this deal. Jeff, I think that's being very generous. Very wise, Mr. Jeff. None of us can do without friends. Better get going, Jeff. Oh, but that's shocking, isn't it? Of course. No. You shouldn't be surprised. I think so. And, and besides, it would be very gruesome. Yes, very dangerous. Also, the work is very hard. And I was frightened. I went to the to the washroom and... Oh, I wouldn't touch those wires if I were you, Mr. Smith. And remember, you'll be shot if you ever dare to come near this place again. They'll shoot you too if you don't do exactly what you are told to. Can it be that they are mad themselves who call me mad? <laughs> <laughs> he shall be shut up when it's I <laughs> who am mad. <laughs> Nobody knows that. If you only knew what was going on in this head of mine. If you only knew. Mr. Winkler, I'd like to see you for a moment. May I come in? My name is Hyde. Won't you sit down? Some little thing occurs and his whole life is ruined. For murder. But that's very unfair. That's very unfair. He's a murderer. I think nothing of it. I'm so glad you agree with me, Doctor. That's a very lovely girl. I hope you didn't tell your sweetheart where you got this money. That's too bad. You committed worse than a crime. You committed a blunder. Murder. I find myself surrounded by puzzles. And you were convicted of murder. You know what I do in your place? I shall talk to you very soon. Spill it. I think so, Mr. Smith. I'm so careless. You can forget all about your troubles here, Mr. Ames. I know who that man was, Mr. Smith. Let go of my wife, Mr. Smith. I 
You touched my wife. What do you have plan to do about him? I have many plans for Mr. Smith. Oh, he died peacefully in my arms. I killed him. Nothing like that must ever happen again. It embarrasses me. And of course, uh, we don't want him to die until he has told us what he knows. It's very thoughtful of you, thank you. Give me your lips. Didn't you hear me? Forget that you are not in a position at all to insist upon anything. So dizzy that you risk a chance of betraying your country. Why is my name not mentioned? Do something, you must! Your asset, we have no time. Behind me. But we are perfectly happy here. Are we not? Not here! I am Pygmalion! You wore wax, but you came to life in my arms. You understand? It's entirely up to you. Why are you afraid of me? I love you. I love you. You hate me. You despise me. But I love you. Each man kills the thing. He loves with all her hair. In one long raven string I wind three times her little throat around. No pain feels she. She feels no pain. I don't enjoy doing this. Send for operative 77 from Washington at once. I've been here many months. I came over here on a very important mission. So important that if I fail, they would expect me to resign. Great respect for that. Only I don't trust him. Hey, that goes for you too. That's the point. I'm a very suspicious man. Perhaps an evening with Shostakovich might prove very enlightening. Huh? Oh, no, that'll be too long. You too, Mr. Johnson. What was it you just said at the door? 150 bucks. Brother, I don't care what they say, that's inflation. I, a poor peasant, have conquered science. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks for your interest. Thank you very much. Good work. Thank you. Keep that monkey away from me! And, uh... Pleasant dreams. Casablanca.